It was an incredible night. In the dark and summer heat, I was standing on the balcony of the palace looking out over the desert. I was a 15-year-old boy, but an enormous responsibility had just been placed upon my shoulders, the welfare of the biggest part of the Empire of Egypt. It was weighing heavily upon me and made me very tired. With deep sadness, still holding the rail of the balcony, my mind began returning to the last two years in our country of Egypt. Since the time when I was a child until I reached adulthood at the age of 14, I watched our Egyptian lifestyle radically change in every facet of life and awareness. As a result of all this change, millions of children and youths had lost their lives or were being scattered as refugees into the surrounding nations. The adults had sold out to the generously offered system of politics, which subsequently turned into control and slavery which still exist now. Some years ago, the Syrian star system became occupied by the reptilian Orion star system. Another humanoid race of beings called Colombians came into this physical reality and offered our culture a religious service through introducing a priest elite. Through this priesthood, they offered to take care of all religious services, doctrines and rites through this priest elite so that the adults could have time to do other things that more suited their interests. The Orion-controlled Syrians infiltrated our empire by working with the adults. They introduced a political freedom elite, offering to take care of the established culture, maintain freedom, and also handle the political development of the country so that the adults could enjoy and better themselves in life. Before long, the Syrian forces were invited to govern the whole national system as a result of the freedom the adults came to enjoy. Before the deceived Egyptian adults knew or even had time to react to what was happening, they had given away the whole Egyptian empire that served as a model and example of freedom and peace to every nation on this planet Earth. The adults had chosen enslavement, offered up as freedom. Little by little they gave away their true freedom, until too late they realized they had no freedom left. When they realized that they had enslaved themselves in the trap, their hopes were gone, and they gave in. The children and the young adults, which by nature do not have a lazy consciousness, realized the whole time what was going on and tried to work and warn their parents and all adults of what would happen as a consequence. When the takeover was complete and the adults had given in and given up, a huge war of destruction took place. The children and the young adults decided to fight back. At that time in history, the mental and the spiritual powers in the human race were a hundred times stronger than they are today. Space and time traveling was a daily event in every individual's life because the vibration of the sunlight allowed the physical body to change time and space in whatever way our minds decided. Present, past and future were really one. After a time, when we had used up our life force and our physical bodies became sick, we had to go back to Egypt, to our life in the physical reality again. The Syrians overcame us and started a massive slaughter. Millions of children and young adults were killed. They destroyed our bodies so that the spiritual part of us could not repair our physical bodies and we were forced to live in other dimensions. When we realized that the opposing forces were too strong and overwhelming for us, we decided to implement an emergency plan. We put groups together of different ages, both boys and girls, young men and young women. We taught them the culture of nations that they never even knew existed. We taught them how to use clothing and other cultural habits and sent them out in small groups, showing them a way that they could be totally assimilated into other cultures without showing their true nature. As Egyptians, we were considered by other beings to be gods because on the planet we came from, which in human language is called Mars, we have superhuman abilities which everybody can obtain if their desire is strong enough. This is the main purpose behind the sharing of the Egyptian Martian culture. We have been doing this for a long time, with every nation on Earth and other planets who want to obtain that level of consciousness, freedom and peace as we have done. On Mars, which we call Kolob, and in the Egyptian Empire on Earth. Together, we aspire to restore freedom and dignity to our people, bridging worlds with understanding and love. This is the dream we cling to, a world united in diversity, where freedom reigns and spirits soar. Together, we will forge a new destiny, one that honors our past while building a brighter future for all. With every step, we draw closer to our goal, united in our mission to restore dignity and freedom to our people.
Our resolve is unwavering. We fight not just for ourselves, but for every child who has suffered under oppression. In this moment of truth, we become the embodiment of our hopes and dreams, standing up for all that we believe in. With every victory, we honor those who came before us, fueling our spirits with the promise of a new dawn. Together we stand victorious, a testament to the strength of our unity and the power of our resolve.